welcome back. This is Dr. Joe with Mountain Journey. Many times when you're working in your shop and you're putting some solvents on or doing some electroplating or some other process, you're going to be releasing some noxious fumes and chemicals that you don't necessarily want to emit and go floating up into the house. So it'd be nice to have an exhaust fan to vent those things out. Let's install one. I purchased this exhaust fan from Zorro. It is a 14 inch exhaust fan, one that you just plug in. It doesn't have to be hardwired. It has three speeds that are operated on this pull chain, and the fastest is about 1,000 cubic feet per minute, which is pretty significant. This fan requires a 14 by 14 inch opening and this box will fit in that. One of the nice things about this is that these louvers have a small magnet that keeps them closed which will help prevent these things from opening or banging uh, in, wi in the wind. Here's that small magnet on each side that keeps these louvers nicely closed which I think will be great. It's funny, the magnet has to be weak enough so it can open up when the fan kicks in, but strong enough to keep these things closed uh, in bad weather. So that was a really nice feature of this fan. Plus it's 110, I'm just going to plug it in, and I think it'll be a good exhaust fan for my workshop. I chose a reasonable height for this and centered the 14 by 14 inch cutout in the middle of the drawer, and I drew the lines. Now we'll have to cut this out. This is an insulated door, metal, uh, metal skin on the inside and out. We'll cut that out and then we're going to mount the fan uh, into this location. So the door is two inches deep and this is five and three sixteenths deep. So we'll need to put a little frame around this 3 and 3 sixteenths inch. I've got some pine boards here. I'm going to rip these to length, rip these to the width, and cut them to length and make a little box to go around that. So I remeasured it. It's actually 3 and an eighth plus 2, so 5 and an eighth. This is set at 3 and an eighth. I've got these anti-kickback bars put here at the right height. We'll raise the table saw blade height just above the height of the wood. We'll have our push sticks handy. Dust collection. And we'll begin sawing. Cut each of these to 14 and 5 eighths. I have a 10 inch extension here and we'll just cut those off. Okay, now that we've got this set up, these four boards will overlap. Let's drill some Craig pocket holes for the inside of these where they're attached to the door.
three per board should be enough. This Craig pocket hole jig is pretty nice. Makes these blind pockets obviously here, here, and here. So this will be on the inside. We'll drill those into the door giving us a nice frame around the fan. Well, it fit in quite nicely. <coughs> the, um, the door cut apart pretty easily. The frame screwed into the door and now the fan's in the door. We're going to cover the outside with a bit of trim and we are good to go. Let's watch it in action. You can see how the louvers pop open because they're magnetically held, which is really nice. Now it's going at about a thousand cubic feet per minute. It's quite a nice exhaust fan, and I think it'll be very protective in keeping the fumes out, keeping it more of a safe environment for everyone. So we've got this uh, installed, but we need to put some trim around it and we need to do some sealing with some silicone which we'll do here in just a minute to get that sealed up and then we'll put a nice piece of put a nice uh, frame it with some trim to make it look nice from the outside so to make this project easier I took this tube of silicone and put it in water and heated it so it's nice and warm now we'll take the cap off cut a nice end of this open the um, seal there's a small seal at this tube and then we'll caulk around this to seal it up so I split the tube, I slid it off so it has a nice tapered end. Use this nail just to break the seal back in there. And now our silicone should start coming out. There it is. All right. So we'll put a nice on that. Sealing any little discrepancies that I made with cutting it. And there are a few. Okay, let's measure this accurately, so we know that it's 13, seven eighths, 13 and 7 eighths. Yeah, that gives us a, just the smallest little gap. Let's, let's cut that on our miter station. Well, here's the finished product. You can see we've got the fan installed. It's been um, caulked around here with a silicone caulk to seal it. We have the trim around here, which will paint probably to match the color of this door, a cream color. Again, you should consider an exhaust fan in your workshop, particularly when you're working with solvents or finishes, varnishes, etc. Volatile, volatile organic compounds are dangerous. And something like this will really help not only you in your workshop, but your family upstairs or in the house if you're working in a garage shop, etc. It'll really keep things much better for you and for everybody else. Thank you for watching. This is Dr. Joe with Mountain Journey. Please subscribe. Please comment. Stay safe.